Okay, let us learn how to find the mean by using the Excel. So Excel can be a good supplement with a calculator. So traditionally we add all the number and divide by number of number. But right now in this Excel, we are going to actually just press equal sign. The syntax is going to be equal sign. And on our, I can just type it here, A for average or mean, in this case A, so average. My drop down bar has average function already. So this is average down here. So now average of what? This is number one. So well, if I have only one set of number, this is in the row. So I just highlight all of them, D4 all the way to D14. Since I open the parentheses, I must close the parentheses without my keyboard and I press enter. It is a beautiful tool to round off to the near given place value. So in this Excel, there is a built-in that is a this one is actually in decrease the decimal if i use this one well if i use the left one is increase the decimal so maybe it's hard to see so what i'm going to do i'm going to actually zoom it through so this is what i'm looking into here so this one is going to give you option to decrease and this one to increase this is the dial off so okay so this is the one we're going to use so this to, to see this this is again this is the middle right on the middle fan here so this is increase decrease and this is how we round up highlight. Uh, first we highlight the number then of course i go to the left is going to increase as we see if i go use the right fan is going to decrease so this is going to be a whole number six now if i looking for tenth this is the tenth and this is hundred this is thousand so we have to be very careful what question is asking if it is hundred we're going to go two decimal places if question asks for 10th we're going to go to one decimal places this question asks for whole number we're going to go for just like this one and we can just adjust this it's beautiful very beautiful tools to round off you have a negative number so how do you do that is same thing I press equal sign and average a and once i type a in the keyboard it pops up average here so i do the same thing i highlight all all of them and press enter and I do have 47.75 is the mean. Now, let's take a look at another option here. So find the mean for the data set below. So it can be anywhere. I can put this mean here. I can put mean here. Doesn't really matter what it is. As long as I put equal sign in the syntax and I press A, that will give me the function average. So average is what? Average of all this. Notice that I do have zero also. Zero must be part of our calculation i have a decimal too so it doesn't matter what i have inside that's the beauty of excel i just